Sixth grade, module one, lesson five, classwork. Example one, a county superintendent of highways is interested in the numbers of different types of vehicles that regularly travel within his county. In the month of August, a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks at the local Department of Motor Vehicles, the DMV. The DMV reported that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars that were registered, there were seven pickup trucks registered. How many of each type of vehicle were registered in the county in the month of August? So A wants us, using the information in the problem, to write four different ratios and describe the meaning of each. So let's start with finding the ratio within the problem. So it said that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars, there were seven pickup trucks registered. So there are gonna be two different types of ratios we're looking at here, part to part ratios and part to whole. So let's start with the part to part ratios. So part to part means that we're talking about different pieces of the problem. For example, for every five passenger cars, there were seven pickup trucks. So neither of those are the whole, but they are pieces that make up the whole. So just parts of the whole problem. So one of the ratios would be the ratio of cars to trucks. And that ratio is five to seven. And is part to part ratio. Then another one would be, we could flip that around and we could have the ratio of trucks to cars. That would be seven to five, and that is another part to part ratio. Now we could think of another one. Now let's go to part to whole ratio. So there are a total of if five and seven, the total would be 12 total vehicles. So 12 is the whole. We can say the ratio of cars to total vehicles is, well, there are five cars for every 12 total vehicles. So this is a part to whole ratio. And one more, we can do the ratio of trucks to total vehicles. That is seven trucks for every 12 total, total vehicles. So that is a part to whole ratio. B, make a tape diagram that represents the quantities and the part to part ratios that you wrote. So that would be five to seven or seven to five. So let's do cars were five. We have one, two, three, four, five, and trucks was seven. So there is a tape diagram for cars to trucks part to part ratios. C, how many equal size parts does a tape diagram consist of? So it's asking how many different pieces, how many parts does it have? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, or just the whole that we talked about. So there are twelve equal size pieces. And D, what total quantity does the tape diagram represent? So this is what we, the five to seven ratio 
was just a ratio. So in the problem, it's actually talking about a total of 192 registrations. So the total is 192 vehicles that we're actually talking about. So then E, what value does each part of the tape diagram represent? So in order to figure that out, we need to take our 12 equal sized pieces and split it among the 192. So we're going to do 192 divided by 12 to see how much each piece is worth. So 12 can't go into 1, but it goes into 19 one time. 1 times 12 is 12. If we subtract, we get 7. Bring down the 2. 12 can go into 72 6 times. 6 times 12 is 72. There's no remainder. So each value of the diagram represents 16. So each of these pieces are 16. So this one's going to be 16 times 5 will get us the total number of cars and the total number of trucks will be 16 times 7. which is what we need to actually do right here. So cars was 16 times 5 and 16 times 5 is 6 times 5 is 30 carry the 3 5 times 1 is 5 plus 3 is 80 so there are 80 cars and then trucks is going to be 16 times 7 6 times 7 is 42, carry the 4, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11. So we have 112 trucks. Example 2, the superintendent of highways is further interested in the numbers of commercial vehicles that frequently use the county's highways. He obtains information from the Department of Motor Vehicles for the month of September and finds that for every 14 non-commercial vehicles, there are 5 commercial vehicles. If there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles, how many of each type of vehicle frequently use the county's highways during the month of September? So let's start with our tape diagram and find our ratio. So for every 14 non-commercial vehicles, there are five commercial vehicles. Our ratio is 14 to five. So let's start with non-commercial. going to be 14 Need one more yes that's 14 to f commercial is 5 So we have 14 to 5. It says, if there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles, how many of each type of vehicle frequently use the county's highways? So it's saying that there are 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles. So this part right here is equal to 108. There are 108 extra. So let's see how many parts this is broken into. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So let's split that 108 into 9 equal pieces. 9 can't go into 1, but it goes into 10 one time. If we subtract 9, we bring down the 8, we have 18. 9 goes into 18 twice. 9 times 2 is 18. No remainder. So each piece is equal to 12 including all of these other pieces. So it wants to know how many of each type of vehicle frequently use the county's highways. So to figure out non-commercial, non-commercial, we need to do 12 times 14. 4 times 2 is 8, 1 times 4 is 4, 
put our zero down. One times two is two, one times one is one. So we get 168 non-commercial. And for commercial vehicles, we have 12 times five, which is equal to 60, and 60 commercial vehicles. So let's write that out a little more, a little more clear. Use a different color. So let's say non-commercial is 168 and commercial is 60 vehicles. Exercises. Number one, the ratio of the number of people who own a smartphone to the number of people who own a flip phone is four to three. If 500 more people own a smartphone than a flip phone, how many people own each type of phone? So we have a four to three ratio. So let's start with the smartphone. So that is four. To flip phone, which is three. So it's saying that 500 more people own a smartphone than a flip phone. So this piece right here is equal to 500. And it's only one part, so we're gonna label that 500. This would also be 500. Let's fill in all the parts as 500. And we can see we want to know how many people own each type of phone. Well, here we have 500 times 4 equals 2,000 smartphones. And 500 times 3 equals 1,500 flip phones. Number two, Sammy and David were selling water bottles to raise money for new football uniforms. Sammy sold five water bottles for every three water bottles David sold. Together, they sold 160 water bottles. How many did each boy sell? Okay, so Sammy sold five for every three David sold. Let's do Sammy had five. And David for every three David had. And together, so all of it, is 160. So let's take 160. We have how many parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's divide 160 into eight equal pieces. If we do that, we will get eight goes into zero, zero times. So we get 20 in each piece. So this is 20. So David sold 60 bottle water bottles and Sammy sold 100 water bottles. Number three, Miss Johnson and Miss Seiple were folding report cards to send home to parents. The ratio of the number of report cards Miss Johnson folded to the number of report cards Miss Seiple folded is 2 to 3. At the end of the day, Miss Johnson and Miss Seiple folded a total of 300 report cards. How many did each person fold? So let's do Miss Johnson. So her, she was, Johnson to Seiple was 2 to 3. So hers is 2 to Miss Seiple. was three. And together, they folded 300. So all of these are equal to 300. So let's take one, two, three, four, the five parts and split it equally between the 300. So we have 300 divided by five. 
5 goes into 30 6 times. We get 30. Bring down the 0. 5 can't go into 0, so we have 60. So each part is 60. So Miss Johnson folded 60 times 2, which is 120 report cards. And Miss Seipel folded 60 times 3, or 180 report cards. And number 4. At a country concert, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 2 to 7. If there are 250 more girls than boys, how many boys are at the concert? So, boys to girls is 2 to 7. So we have boys is 2, girls is 7. So it's saying there are 250 more girls than boys. So this extra piece right here is 250. So let's figure out how much each of these are. So 250 divided by 5 would get us 50. So each of these is 50. Which means this is part is also 50 and so are is that for the boys so we want to know how many boys are at the concert well 50 times 2 equals 100 boys are at the concert